I'm Al Kumar. Here is a question to verify Rolle's theorem. The question is, verify that the function satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem. Then find all numbers C that satisfies the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. Now, we are given a function f of x equals to x square minus 6x plus 5 and we are considering the closed interval 0 to 6. Now Rolle's theorem, there are three hypotheses as mentioned here. The first one is, let me write down these three hypotheses here one by one and then we'll verify. So the first one is that the function should be continuous. We are looking for continuous in the closed interval and the interval given to us is from 0 to 6. Now, parabola is actually continuous in entire domain and therefore it's a polynomial and therefore it is continuous in the given interval also. So we have a polynomial. This is a polynomial. So we say it's a polynomial with smooth curve, right? for x belonging to real numbers, right? So in the entire domain, and therefore it will be continuous in this interval also, right? The second point is that f should be differentiable. So second is regarding differentiability, right? So f is differentiable in open interval 0 to 6. Now, you can find the derivative of this function, which is f dash x, which is equals to 2x minus 6, right? So what we see here is that it is differentiable in its entire domain. So it is also differentiable within the given open interval 0 to 6, correct? Now, third thing is that there should be two points, that is f of a should be equal to f of b, right? So a is 0 for us, b is 6. So what is f of 0 equals to? If I substitute 0 here, I get 5. This is 0 minus 0 plus 5, which is 5. And if I substitute 6 here, I get 6 square, which is 36, minus 6 times 6, which is also 36. So they will be 0 plus 5, we get 5. So, so we know f of 0 is equals to f of 6. Right? So these three conditions are satisfied. The old theorem says then there is a number c in this open interval such that f dash c is 0. Right? So, so in that case, it implies that there is a number c that is x equals to c number c that is to say at x equals to c where the derivative is equal to zero that is what it means so we could verify that also we know this is the derivative and we'll equate this to zero and figure out whether that point is between 0 to 6 or not, right? So we can say f dash x, which is equals to 2x minus 6. If I equate to 0, what is x? We could write this as 2x equals to 6, or x is equals to 6 over 2, and that is 3. So c is, is 3. So we found that f dash 3 is equals to 0, and and this value of 3 is, as you can see, between the open interval 0 to 6, right? So that is how we can verify Rolle's theorem. I hope the steps are clear to you, and it gives you complete understanding of the theorem. So whenever there is any question like this, where we need to verify Rolle's theorem, we have to prove that the function is continuous, within the given interval, the closed interval. It is differentiable in the open interval and the values at these two ends, fa and fp, is same. 
then there exists a number c where the derivative of the function will be zero right that's the turning point and that you can find as we did to and then verify that this turning point is between zero to six uh, in some examples you may get more than one point ensure that you take up the point which is within the open interval so that's what i can add here I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to write your comments and share some questions. Thank you and all the best.